How's it guys, Manash here and today I'm going to be going through the Cavalier event quest chapter 1.1 with 4 stars because they did bring back the 4 star challenge so you have to complete each map with the team of 4 stars in order to get the tier 5 class catalyst, the 10% one. Uh, so yeah, I'm actually thinking who am I going to use for this one because now I do have suicides, I need to make sure that I can actually bring champs who can handle suicides. Okay, so I'm going with Black Widow Clairvoyant. Omega Red, Nick Fury, and Archangel. And I did also bring Quake, although I only actually used her for synergy. You know, she didn't actually do any fights. I mostly used Archangel, Omega Red, and Black Widow Clairvoyant. And I think I did one fight with Nick Fury. So now I'm just scouting the path uh, C, which nodes I need to take. So I'm going to go right because that's probably the easiest path, as in it doesn't have as many nodes as the other two paths. So all the fights on this map have power technician and kinetic transference. Um, so this is the map that's meant to benefit tech champs, but I didn't even bother bringing a tech champ to this one. Um, just because I feel like this global node is probably the worst of them all. Um, it doesn't really help that much, I feel. And at least for the champs who actually do benefit from it, they aren't all the greatest champs, except for maybe a few robots and guardian, you know, because not a lot of good tech champs actually have access to armor buffs. And I remember when I did it in September, I didn't even realize any difference it was making. So yeah, I ended up just ignoring that one. So yeah, first up, I'm just going to go in with Omega Red on this loot cage. Probably not the best matchup, but I mean, not the worst. It's basically a very standard fight. I would have preferred to use Archangel or Black Widow Clairvoyant, but I didn't want to, you know, deal with bleed immunity or cross disadvantage. Um, so yeah. I probably won't do too much commentary on these videos, just so I can get them out a little bit faster. And also, they aren't the most complicated fights. I mean, we've seen all these nodes before in the previous months. So yeah, the fights themselves aren't too difficult, it's just the fact that you have to use 4 stars that makes them a little bit long. Although, some of the class specific buffs uh, do help you quite a lot in terms of damage. But yeah, generally when I do a big piece of new content such as this, you know, like Act 6 or Variants, I don't always do commentary for each video, you know, because, you know, I just can't talk for hours and hours for such simple fights. So yeah, I ended up just bringing Quake for the Nick Fury Evade synergy. Um, I didn't even bother using her, even against the Sasquatch boss, I just used Archangel instead. Because I'll probably get some genius in the comments like, eh, do without Quake. <laughs> and then you'll hit the dislike button. Uh, but yeah, I probably will use Quake later on. Uh, just because I want to do this thing itemless, and if Quake can save me items, then I will use her. Uh, simple as that. Probably throw in some 4 star ghost later on as well. And also because I'm using suicides right now, it just makes more sense to use certain champs. And I would like to avoid ranking up more 4 stars if I don't need to. So I just used Archangel for Sasquatch, it really wasn't that bad, just a bit of a long fight. You know, since it's a boss and Cavalier difficulty, using a 4 star, it can take a bit of time. But yeah, Archangel worked really well for the boss, just because of the neurotoxins being able to shut down his unstoppable. He still does go stun immune when triggering Wrath of Tenorak, but it's not that bad when he's not unstoppable. At least you can bait specials and punish. And Neurotoxins also will shut down his regeneration. And yeah, Archangel just has some pretty good damage output, so that's why I chose him for that fight. And then I did have some fun with Black Widow Clairvoyant against those immune champs and those buff heavy matchups, because I do have Mystic Dispersion level 4 and Suicides right now, which is a pretty nice combination for her. Then I did a few more fights with Omega Red and Archangel. But yeah, that's going to be it for this one. I hope you guys find it useful. Thank you for watching. Have a wonderful day and I'll see you soon.